Hello guys, I'm back with my another video and in this video I have uh, my friend Animesh with me and we will discuss how he got into integrated PSG in TIFR. So let's start with that. Hi Animesh, how are you? Uh, hi Jay, I'm fine. How about you? I'm also good. So you are enjoying PSG in TIFR? Integrated PSG, right? Yep, yep. I'm yeah. enjoying it a lot. <laughs> so which year did you join there? Uh, so actually, I joined TFR in 2020, uh, like 2020 batch, August. Oh, which exams uh, you gave to get into this? Uh, for uh, to get into TFR, I gave the TFR GS 2020 exam, uh, which was held in December 2019, and then I was called in for uh, the second exam, uh, which was like a, a kind of screening exam. And after that, uh, we had an interview. So that's all. So basically, I came through GS 2020 exam. Okay. So GS 22 you gave in December 2019. And uh, uh, so uh, after that, you had one more uh, screening exam. And then you had this yeah. an interview exam. Interview. Okay, so three yeah, yeah. three stages you had. Okay, in physics actually three stages. Yeah. In chemistry, I gave is two stages. One is was written exam, then second was interview. So for you guys, I think it is three. Yeah, and uh, because like uh, physics, hmm. uh, like in physics there are many fields out there, and uh, the you know, uh, more in physics field. So that may be the reason. Can you repeat once? Actually, a little bit uh, net issue. I think I got. Can you just repeat okay, once? So what do you I mean? I I I think that the, because uh, the physics field is further subdivided into like uh, like uh, condensed matter physics, high energy physics, theoretical physics, and also and uh, the intake in physics is also more so. Basically, they take uh, three exams for physics students. Okay. 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 Nice. So in the first exam, that was written exam, you got like MCQ questions only or in the first GS exam? Uh, so so the, the first, uh, our first exam was uh, basically, um, we gave it online. It was MCQ and MSQ type questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, like uh, we didn't do any written part there. But like for the second exam, it was a written exam. And when did it held like second exam? Which month? Um, uh, so, so Huh. So actually, we were uh, given the result of first exam in January, and and we were called to TFR in um, March third, March third and fourth. So at March third, we we gave uh, the first written exam, and at March fourth, those students who were selected for, like who were selected in that screening exam, gave the interview. Okay, so um, March third, like there was screening, and March fourth was interview. You are saying like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Consecutive days. Mm -hmm. So, in the screening, uh, what uh, kind of questions you faced? Uh, in screening, basically, I think the uh, the 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 professors actually wanted like how a student thinks, like how will he proceed. They don't want the answer. They actually want like how will the student proceed. What what is his thinking and like. What a new method can you employ in this? These kind of thinking. So I was asked some questions from electronics. One question was from electronics, and one question was basically a kind of linear accelerator. We had to use a formula. Like I employed the formula of compound interest in there uh, to uh, get the answer, and and we were given some matrix question and all. So it was like written exam, screening, screening exam also, also written yeah, exam. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was a written exam. Held, held at TFR only. Oh, okay. You went to institute and then there only you yeah. gave exam. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So uh, from electronics, you were saying that there you got one question. Uh, do you remember which what, what question was that? Like around. I think it was like, uh, like uh, we did some of electronics in BSc. It was kind of like a reverse bias something i don't okay. remember a lot right. but uh, it yeah kind of... it has been a little bit time like so... it was it like if you if you had a uh, if you had a concept in electronics so you could do that question easily 
okay means they have just a little bit basic questions they ask like regarding uh, this reverse bias forward bias kind of question related to that that question was actually the easiest one and uh, there were some other questions too okay do you that question i think mostly all of them would have done okay so do you remember any questions some questions you can tell from your screen if you remember any one of them uh, okay so one was like uh, the physics student would know like we study uh, harmonic potential it was half harmonic potential and we had to derive some of it like kind of uh, i don't remember what we had to do like it was a half harmonic potential and i think uh, something related to energy values and all and one as i already told was a linear accelerator one was from from thermodynamics and one was from uh, the matrix matrix part okay Ma uh, mathematics basically mathematics ha Math uh, mathematical physics okay. so there were six question and we had to do four questions okay so how did you so animesh can you tell uh, about your interview experience uh, which you faced how was yeah, so, it uh, uh, my interview was on the second day and mm -hmm. i was quite nervous because mine was the second last i guess and we were roaming all day all the students were telling their interview experiences i too was scared oh uh, it, it it was in campus you went to campus for yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 my time it yeah. was in corona, corona times corona so that's why yeah. they did it in online so you guys went there yeah, nice you have seen yeah. the campus so it's ha uh, we went to the campus and like the you know the all the mm. like, facilities are, are very good mm. yeah interview yeah 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 mm. yeah so, so the there were four uh, interviewers and mm. i they asked my interest and all they read my sop mm -hmm. and so uh i remember so i'll tell the questions i remember uh, so one question i was asked was uh, like in physics we study the trajectory of uh, earth around the sun and mm -hmm. uh, using kepler's laws and all so mm -hmm. i was asked like what would happen to the trajectory of earth if the mass of sun was half and uh, calculate the trajectory of earth then mm -hmm. uh one question i was asked uh, from ma'am in nuclear department was uh, uh, like a it was a kind of pendulum pendulum with pendulum filled with water and the water was dripping from the bottom so i was told to calculate the time period so i stumbled a bit but then i came like i got the answer uh, they helped some what and i got the analytical solution but i think the numerical part was quite hard and they too knew it so they said that like tell the analytical part only and mm -hmm. uh, one question i remember was they asked me regarding some black holes and to calculate the mass of sun na ma radius of the sun if it converted into black hole oh uh, so i remember these three questions i don't mm -hmm. remember further so animesh you are doing integrated psc like you uh, like you are doing now first you will msc and then you will uh, do your psc and i, I think a typical period is 6 years i think 6 years or 7 years yeah typical six years, six years typical period okay typical period is 6 years so uh, what about like uh, scholarship and stipend you get you are get, you will get in your first year second year or whole time what do you expect and so, what are you getting so for first year the stipend is 21000 mm -hmm. uh, and which would increase to 30 uh, 31000 uh, i said 21 right you said uh, 21000 in first year yeah ha 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 which would increase to 31000 in the second year and which would further increase to 35000 after second year if we register for phd and if we like if we plan to move out after uh, Uh, the master's course mm -hmm. it would again reduce to 21000 so we have to like you, you guys have to say uh, something like before that whether you will leave or not in the third year right yeah in the second in the second year okay. because like uh, in the second year if we tell that we'll leave after uh, the third year so we mm -hmm. prepare for master's thesis otherwise we will prepare for phd thesis oh okay okay and like uh, Uh, like you will get a msc degree if you leave after 3 years 
generally MSc yeah. is of two years in other institutes and all. Yeah. But if we leave uh, from TFR, then it has to be like three years. Three, okay. three years, yes. And and after that, we can approach in abroad also. Like if we want to leave also, there is no yeah, problem. Yes. We can approach outside abroad if you want. Many to. students, up, up, like many students who are abroad after doing MSc from here. But like they don't uh, recommend leaving after MSc generally. Mm -hmm. Because you know a place uh, better than you can like uh, properly do your PhD uh, research there. If you know the environment, yeah, everything. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Time will be like reduced uh, in knowing other like different, different uh, going to another place. It would be like we have to adjust for some time. Like it will take some time for us to adjust in another place. Yeah. So uh, I think I heard some contingency also we get in TFR, right? Yeah. You guys yeah. get. So that is very this, this year due to Corona, it was reduced to half. Like first uh, for first year, the contingency is 25,000. Mm -hmm. And you can purchase all your uh, books and laptops, iPads, anything like which would help you study. Not anything, but anything which would help you study. In the lab, it. yeah, research. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laptop. Headphones and all, yeah. Hmm. Electronics. So, and for the second second year, it would inc increase to 40,000. Okay. Yeah, hmm. so for one year, you will get 40,000 money to purchase all that. And you can even go to workshops and all using that money. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is really benefit actually in other institutes. If you are getting MHRD or institute fellowship, you won't get, you won't be getting I think contingency. Uh, in CSIR mm -hmm. you can get, and uh, in MHRD you don't get generally. In other institutes, so in TFR we are getting it's really nice. Even if we are get even yeah. uh, you even doing MSc, we are getting stipend. That's really good actually. TFR in TFR. Yeah. And besides yeah. these things, uh, this is really a prestigious institute. It has all the facilities available. Uh, so yeah, it makes it a very good institute in India. And yeah. uh, uh, what ex other exams did you give? Like for TFR, you got this. And maybe you have given other exams also along with this. So yeah, so I gave uh, just and JM2 along with TFR. And I, like uh, from the TFR, so the, the PhD aspirants can uh, give uh, like JST exam and they can, I think, even give GATE exam, NET CSIR, and to get into TFR, they can even get, give like TFR GS 2020. It's even for our PhD aspirants students. Mm -hmm. And now they have to give GS 22, I think, <laughs> that we have given uh, GS 2020, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah. so yeah. means not only one exam through one exam uh, like we can get into because now tfr may there is one issue some people face some students face like they don't get merit list or they don't get cut off obviously they don't re yeah uh, exactly, exactly. That. so some people like think like uh we have uh, like given good uh exam but uh, why we do not Animesh, uh, in uh, what are the other institutes, which are the other institutes uh, where one can uh, pursue PhD in T uh, physics apart from TIFR, which are good institutes in uh, yeah. India? So actually, I think uh, one of the best institutes in India would be HRI in Allahabad, mm -hmm. um, ICTS in Bangalore, mm -hmm. IIC of course and uh, Isers, Pune, Bhopal, Mohali, all are good, Kolkata. And uh, there's even one more, uh, uh, like people who are interested in interdisciplinary sciences, it's IACS, I think, in Kolkata. Mm. It's for people who want to like go into interdisciplinary sciences, like chemistry and physics related stuff. So what advice you want to give to our, my, uh, my channel viewers uh, who are uh, preparing for these exams? So what advice you want to give? What uh, difficulties you face during preparation for your, uh, like, your, this thing, for you to get into this institute? So like basically, first thing I would like to say is that to study regularly. It's the like one good habit one you could have is like study regularly, no matter what happens. Like 
if you are preparing for a competition competitive exam you need to prepare for it regular regularly uh, there's like one sir used to say that my uh, in coaching hard work always beats talent and i still remember that like it was quite nice he motivated us and we motivated us to study regularly and for thank you animesh for your time i hope your advice will be useful to my viewers and all the best to them for their exams also don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel bye bye